Hey, welcome back to Danganronpa B3. We're uh, gonna continue the trial, right? So let me click on this one to I see what happens next. This, far. Yes. this guy is yes. excited More and I'm not indeed. about it. So, um, quick recap. Buddy here, not buddy here, uh, Mia was killed while we were in the virtual world. So far we've sort of established how she was killed. For you to get and, um... Some villain pulling the strings? I mean, that's what he is, though. Nope. You pulled the strings here, not me. Also, yeah, Remember? Mia wanted to kill someone. I don't know. We still don't know exactly what turned it around. You but also set this yeah. trap. Yeah. It all yeah. began when Mew showed us the map. Yeah, she made us believe that this is how the world was because set up. Of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center. Yeah. Which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. It was like this. There was a wall along the y-axis. Yep. And the x-axis came around in a loop. Yep. By putting that wall in the center of that world, we cut off the loop. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. Pretty much. Uh, so that's how we heard the whole thing. All hail our savior! Yeah, 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 ask yeah. whatever you want. If Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. Why is everyone praising him now? Hey, Shuichi. Okay, I'm just... You're welcome. Look at this guy. Just because we found out the virtual world secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Yeah. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Yep. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. Yep, indeed. Class trial works after all. Yeah, we still need to know who turned it around, because you apparently didn't go to the like rooftop. Oh. No matter what you say, I'm not gonna believe your lies. Uh, you, well, no, I do believe don't believe. That's how I'm gonna reach <sighs> Jesus the truth. Christ, he's starting to get on me. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. I have a feeling you already know. Damn. All we have to do is find the culprit who killed Mio. It would all be for nothing. Okay. Who used Mio some, Mio some plan to kill her? Is this gonna be the intermission? Jesus fucking Christ, I knew it. <laughs> and I even mentioned it last night when I was like... A few minutes in, it's gonna be intermission, isn't it? Oh, what bad timing. Well, actually, it's great timing every time I get it. Like, a few minutes before it happens. I'm good at that, apparently. Escape. Hey. One of honey for you. Oh, God. Why did you know that? It's due to a lack of hibernation, he says. <clears throat> Jesus. Throw these kind of things. What could be causing it? It's because you have a lot on your mind. With your shift space a better hourly wage? Maybe, I don't know. Jesus Christ, this is just getting. Night night. Okay, that was stupid. Resume. Are you okay, buddy? I feel like I'm forgetting someone in my head. My head. Have you forgotten? Maybe that's for the best. What is this melodrama that's happening here? Let's start a new life for ourselves. After all, our baby is excited to meet his daddy. You know? Okay. Yeah, apparently. Please tell me Himiko's like really glued to that. What a colossal death flag. <laughs> die after that. Yeah, More I know. Let's continue the conversation where we left off. Yeah, let's see what happens so now. You plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. Who turned it around? To that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. Okay. 
I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really I don't care. Let's see. You manipulated the virtual world. Okay, we're getting a bit of a recap here with regard uh, in regards to Don't just ignore me and start if she had regards to Mia. She would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. Uh-huh. And then wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. Yeah. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world and then pin it on Kaito. Mm-hmm. As for Mia's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. As we didn't know that if you die in the game, you die for real. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. Uh-huh. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. Indeed. <clears throat> Oops, my hand slipped. Oh, you fucker. She dropped the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Okay. Then secretly passed through the wall she installed and mm -hmm. after she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kaito was probably logged out around that time too. That's when I saw Mia. Okay. Here's the question though. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we How did she know to log out killed. Kaito? Oh no, since it was his her plan to blame him by logging him out early and make it seem like uh right, 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 okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I how did I forget that? Roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. I don't know. The culprit killed her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't think Mew did. If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. Mm -hmm. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. Yeah, right. Could be possible, but um. She was smart, but she was also really, really <laughs> dumb. That's one way to put it. Don't say such mean things. Chili game bad. You not bad person. That might have been. Me. I agree with you, Kimiko. That's when it happened. Nah, -uh. no way, Jose. Huh? Yep. Anyway, let's continue the discussion. <laughs> yep. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion, yep. the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? So the next thing we should talk yeah. about is how they moved her avatar. We're throwing it back, probably. Now we know the mansion, the mansion rooftop was on a slope. Put it on the thing, let it slide, crash into the chapel, which made the big ass noise. And um, that probably is what gave it away. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Yeah. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Yeah, yeah, that's the only way, right? But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? Uh, that I know, I know already. Don't not throw her! Wait, Jesus, no. Gonta. You couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical strength equalized? Yeah, you were just, everyone was as strong as each other, so. Problem. Gonta, no can protect yeah, no, that's fine. Keep up with us. <laughs> Did they send Mew's Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. Yeah. I know what you're trying to get to Kokichi, but... Uh, what was that sound? Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? That's when you found the dead Mew there. Right? The dead Mew, what a... Hmm. If yeah. so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Of course they are. Come on, Chuchu, you should be smarter than this. Sound like something slamming hard to something else. So what were those two things it could be? Mm, yeah, I may have 
Okay. Ooh, they think I'm a fraud. Okay. That wasn't that. Mew hitting the wall. Mew hitting the wall? I could say hammer, but I guess it was Mew. I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. Yeah. The hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there. But they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. Yep. If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. But Almost as if it had a lot of speed. The from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Mew's Where'd the music go away? Probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys hold on, Kokichi? What's up with the way you're talking? Why are you talking like you know everything? Because he does. Let's not worry about that right now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Of course you friends? think so. What? Also, truth has been clear. Anyway, Anyways, yeah, I agree with the movie here. Let's talk about it? yeah. Let's figure this out. Way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Getting Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. As your partner, you're what? There's no need, buddy. The friend of Shuichi already knows. Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. Yep. And the slope faced the chapel wall. So there's no way to know if, the if something was the pushed body, from there. I wonder how they did it. He does, damn it. I'm going to find the answer. Taxi or okay. Um, slid down. I need a D. Slid the body. That's one my guess. No, it's lit four. What the hell is this? Oh, it's lit of rooftop. Is that it? It is. Um, it's lit of. I need a net. Oh, there's a couple already. It's lit up roof. Use the slope roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. Oh. Slide? Yeah. Aw oh, man, even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. But we have the lattice. But the avatars can generate friction. They wouldn't have been able to walk other, so I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. Yeah. It wouldn't slide. Just like No, 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 it would. Slide. Just like Shumai said. What did you call me? Who the hell is Shumai? Oh, he's a pupil of Roman. Oh my god, listen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but maybe the culprit used something else as well that we already. Oh, am I gonna really do this? Just say it. Just we already. Well, I already. That was my bad. It's <laughs> Even if her avatar slid off the roof, okay. would it slide off that quickly? Well, duh, it Damn. would. Good crash is what happened. Built up a lot of speed. Lots yeah. of snow piled up on roof. But not frozen solid, right? It mm -hmm. still slide though. In the real world, it might be difficult. Mm, yeah, In the but virtual world, perhaps not. That's not the issue. Yeah. Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just if you have a slide. Keys to cut the friction. Yeah. There was nothing like you. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Kaito. No, wait. There was... Jesus, that's it's like 
super clear what it is. I don't know why everyone is like, nah, couldn't have happened. The culprit later on top of that. I did notice the lattice in the storage room. Oh, now you remember it. Back when I explored, it was like, nah, you can't do that. But doing the investigation, I saw that it was gone. Well, you saw it right next to the body. Next to the chapel is the. Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Oh, sorry. One second. Okay. Sorry, I was sending a message real quick. After the culprit killed Mew on the rooftop, they placed her corpse. Oh, look, they have a little avatar thingy. And slid her down the roof's steep slope. The sled picked up speed, <laughs> flew off, glided through the wall, only objects could pass. No. Yikes. That was bad. The impacts made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Yep. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his. <laughs> I get that reference. I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games, and I hate that hedgehog! You okay there, buddy? I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. To our new yeah, Grandpa, you're gonna be a grandpa. Yeah, father. Or should I start calling you grandfather now? Now what? that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Yeah. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? The culprit. Yeah. In the culprit. Don't I can't believe one of us killed Mew. However, since we know she was killed on the roof. We can narrow down the list of suspects. Technically, Tsumugi does have an alibi, aka me. Uh, Kibo, Maki, and Himiko are safe because. Uh, what's the word? Um, what's the word? Right, they couldn't go to the river nor the wall. So though they couldn't have done that. It's down to Kaito, Gonta, or. Hokichi, that's it, that's it. Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Hmm. Aside from you, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. Yeah. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. And Gonta. Be leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you... We need to move Gonta, Kokichi, and Kaito. We don't know enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. We were talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied, but what reason would they have to lie? Okay. Um, is it you? <laughs> just wondering, just wondering. You. It's you. Kokichi, there's something I need to know. Yeah. Hmm. What do you need? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, Chuichi? Of course I'm you do lie a lot. I need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. Hey there. I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. Uh, did he go to? No, he didn't go to the roof at all. But he knows about the slope to roof. Is that it? That lie? It was that testimony that bothered me. Mind, mind, start. Um. Oh. 
Oof. Well. Uh, how do we go about this? Damn it. Surely what happened, the culprit killed her on the log roof. Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. Is this it? Yeah. I see it. When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said. Also, I never went to the roof. But later, you said. That the roof. Oh, yeah. The roof was a slope. Past the brick handrail, the roof was set at a pretty steep slope. That's a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Stuff you couldn't know if you look at it from below. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. Yeah, see? But you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Huh? Nah, of course What's you're come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this a sincere reaction? But there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the room. Yeah, yeah, we get Wait, it. I remember now. How think you Mikosa? Tell me. At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. She might have said that. You so clumsy girl. Gotta be more careful there, Himiko. Oh boy. Did go really say that? She totally no. said that. No, I'm gonna go with no. Yes, she did. She did not. She did too. Then when? Tell me how long ago. In hours, minutes, <laughs> seconds. Jesus Christ, Kaito. This one you're just trying to like contradict him the whole time, right? You don't care, though. <laughs> what is wrong with Monokuma now? So damn How much longer are you going to behave like this? Yeah, I wouldn't have that place where he's stubborn, he will piss up. I might not like it, but I have to be aggressive. It's time to lie. We're gonna lie now. Ah, uh, what do I have? Small world of poison, loud noise, self and kitchen in the salon. Go to the roof. I've had enough of your lies, man. The kitchen not, not in the salon. Oh. The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it. Mm -hmm. Kokichi do. I turned back at once, of course. And okay. stayed in the salon the whole time, you know. Wires burn in hell, you know. If you're lying, I'll set your pants on fire. <laughs> I get it. Fine because I'm not lying. Shiver. Why do you look so nervous? Okay. Have to fire fire with fire. So it's like the one thing we can shoot at. No, not that. Okay. I turned back at once, of course. There we go. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Stop. No, I didn't mean to. Damn it. Doesn't that like drain the thing faster or is it my health or the focus gauge? It might drain my credibility or whatever. I fucked up. I, I just wanted to. Oh, I did it again. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Kokichi, you're lying right now, aren't you? Where are you? Huh? Lying about what? 
Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. Yeah. But you weren't there. Oh. What? Really? I waited there for a while. You never showed up. What's this all about, Kokichi? <laughs> Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the roof door locked? You used underhanded tactics to I mean, you should have known already. Don't you, like, detect lies or something like that? So who are you guys going to believe? Shuichi or me? Well, of course I'm going to believe Shuichi. Yeah. I believe Shuichi 100%. The one who's not Kokichi. <laughs> 100 house points. No. Kimiko points to Shuichi. How do you become so... I want to see adorable, but silly. Salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. Um, oh. I wonder why. Why are you breaking like roof lady? Oh well, I'll believe Shuichi anyway. He's usually right about stuff. Yeah. Sorry, but I'm going to believe Shuichi too. Nice. I see. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. No. Comes around, goes around. <laughs> Gunther's just very neutral about it. There's only one truth, but endless possibilities. That's also true. And some of them are only white lies, or lies to be kind to people. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie, it's a lie. You guys are just terrible at being lied to. Oh, he's going crazy now. Look at the face. Just spit it out already. You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mio? No, he didn't meet up with her. He didn't just meet her. No, 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 no. He Probably didn't kill her. Guys. Fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Revenge? Yeah. You got some balls lying to me. I'm going to take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. Oh. I won't let you do any detective work or deduction or mystery solving or anything. Oh? So, I'll confess everything. Guys, better listen Where's carefully. Yes. A confession. So shut up, Kaito. I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up. She asked me pretty eagerly too, so I. Oh. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before. She yeah, I do kind of remember that. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. Mm -hmm. On me, no less. When I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without Case in doubt, point, he punched Kiva for that same reason, didn't he? So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual uh -huh. world. That's also why I worked together with Monokuma. Of course you did. You worked together with Monokuma? I mean, I knew Shuichi and the rest didn't, but... <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah! Everything he said is true. Kokichi came to me with an idea to make the killing game more interesting. Oh. It was such a good idea, I decided to place a motive in the killing game simulator. So the motive itself was the quote unquote bait. You added a motive? Then the secret of the outside world is yeah. the motive, right? No fair. Monokuma can. Uh, he I can. Can't help him with anything. And I had nothing to do with the murder itself. He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game. And I accepted. Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo relationship. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. Okay, sure. If you say so, buddy. No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. Calm down. I'll explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my... I'm fine They're lovers. You're confessing without much of a fight. <laughs> I told you, I'm gonna get in the way by taking away the mystery solving fun. Of course you would. If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's my revenge. I'll pick it, well, I guess. Then, the culprit is Gonta. Oh. What? Huh? What did you. Wait! Okay. When did Gonta kill Mew? <laughs> yeah, I'm inclined to now you're trying to pin things on believe Gonta? it though. Ooh, kind of spicy, so I'm gonna stop here because it's gonna get even spicy. Get next episode. So, 
I'm gonna call it quits here. I'm gonna go get a drink because I might need it for what's to come. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for coming and watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Django and Rumpa B. And if you did, you can always let me know by a uh, like, comment, and stuff. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's gonna be crazier next time. So we're gonna continue the trial and see what Kokichi is trying to bring into the fall with his whole confession things. Boy, I, I am, I am kind of excited. Let's go. Let's do this. See you guys later. Yeah,